what comes before me? got the WWE draft coming up and it's I believe it's Star Talk Smackdown. I'm pretty excited because it's, it's time to shake things up a bit. Is that what they said? That was a superstar shake up. It's the fucking same. But <laughs> this today I decided to do something different. I wanted my followers three generation X. I want a job to send me selfies of you with a preferred wrestling name and I will draft you to either Raw, SmackDown, or NXT. I'll just give you reasons why I feel like you will fit certain shows, you know? And, and, and I'm gonna be honest, this is not gonna have an even amount of people on the roster. We're not gonna, I'm not, and listen, I'm just looking at motherfucking selfies and you go to a show, you win a championship or you maybe get released, who knows? So, with the first pick, we're gonna start off on SmackDown. We're gonna see who who is who I who I would think be a good first pick for SmackDown. And honestly, I'm gonna go mm, the homie Taven right here, Adam Garcia of South Town Productions. Okay, but we got the homie Taven with the black and white hat. And you feel he, that that gives off SmackDown vibes, kind of like like you could just be like a a good like tag guy, you know, like. I don't know, but welcome to SmackDown, Taven. The first pick of Monday Night Raw. You got Maleficent. Mal, look, that's the homie right there. Stellar Ghouls, Mal, you a fucking real one. Been, in the, been a part of fucking 3Gen since it was X3 Club and fucking forever. Like, I've known her forever. I believe you you be a fit on Raw Monday nights. It <laughs> must be Monday. But I want to see you in Raw Underground. Just be a nigga's ass. Just in Raw Underground. And then you go back up to the main roster. Or to, you know, Raw. Not Underground. Just above ground Raw. You know, maybe win a title or two, you know? But I, you do give off Monday Night Raw vibe. I'm moving on to NXT. Who will be the first to come over to NXT? I gotta find. <laughs> um, that I don't know his at. That lame. I don't. I don't know. I don't know how to say it. So, Wonder Kid. We got Wonder Kid here, and he says, and my retribution name is Toasters with Z. And my boy, I don't know what you're holding or what you're throwing. But the boots go hard. Okay, I'll fuck with the boots, toasters. Or Wonder Kid. Yeah, we, we're not gonna put you in retribution yet. You're a little bit young. We're gonna send you to NXT. You know, get you some development. So you see, I don't know how old you are here. I don't even know. Th this may be. I don't, I don't know, but we're gonna send you to some developmental. We, we, let's get you some Wonder Kid. You are welcome to the yellow and black, the black and yellow brand, or whatever the fuck they say on TV. Going back to Friday night on Fox. Let's see who do we got here. Okay, I think, I think the homie Flex Fortune with the pinata. Obviously, you gotta fit in with the Lucha House Party. You going over to SmackDown, brother? That's the drip right there. Where, where were you going in that picture? Because you just holding a pinata in, in these big ass glasses. <laughs> it was pulling up somewhere. You pull up the Fox on SmackDown. Congratulations. Going back over to Monday Night Raw. Let's see. Hmm. You know who I think would, would kind of fit in on Raw? I think Sir Lowe's, the one who made the uh, death match between me and Dalton uh, with the figure death match. I believe he could be a good fit for Raw, you know? He got the World Heavyweight Championship, you know what I'm saying? Throwing up some, some a fucking, you feel me? <laughs> you know, with the hood on and the hair. I don't know if that hair is yours or is that a wig. But that's a Monday Night Raw look. You got the Monday Night Raw look, sir. I mean, you know, that that's that's like intercontinental. Well, that's the that's that's SmackDown. The fucking you, um, you, well, you can't be in the hurt business for. <laughs> <laughs> Up next, going over to NXT. Let's see. Hey, you know, I think we gonna send George the Hall of Fame Cronin. So so King Derek. Um, put in for his homie George who doesn't have Twitter. What a guy, you know, he wanted to be he wanted him to be included in the video that, That's cool, you know, but I feel like George Cronin is an NXT guy a top NXT guy because listen I played George Cronin and 2k before he beat me. You know what I'm saying? He didn't win fair and square I mean it was like fair and rectangle like he used he tried to use the lag against him and he caught me off guard I, You know, I see what he was doing. I still gave him his props but he ain't win that second game. So he's over in NXT right now. And then it's not a bad thing because he, I want George Cronin to be like NXT champion. You feel me? Like I want him to be in that 
title picture so he could get a call up because going over to SmackDown, if we, we talk about George, we can't we can't mention George without mentioning the big homie the lion KO3. Welcome to SmackDown. These two are oops, I almost kicked up my water. The Lion, King Derek the Third, aka KO3. Well, that's that's a SmackDown brother right there. That, that, that's a smack. You you see him, the drip. You feel me? He on TikTok in the bathroom. <laughs> I don't know what you're doing, dog. <laughs> Going back over to Monday Night Raw. And things are about to get handsome as Kid Handsome, aka Insane Dre, is the next. I think Insane Dre could be in the hurt business. I mean, look at dude. He already wanna hurt somebody. You already, you feel me? King Handsome, once again, a regular of the channel, fucking homie right there. He's gonna be in the hurt business. I'm putting him in the hurt business, but he's gonna show up in the Raw Underground also with Mal. Like, him and Mal are gonna just beat motherfuckers' ass in the Raw Underground, and then he's gonna get accepted into the, the hurt business, and then she's gonna feud with Asuka. I had to think about who's on there. <laughs> Over on NXT, let's see who we got. Over on NXT, I think we can put in Mayhem J Ham. <laughs> we're gonna send you over to NXT mainly because we're gonna, we, you know, we, we're gonna work on the name a little bit. You know, Mayhem J Ham just kind of, I don't know, you know, like I, I fuck with you though, you know, you the homie, but I don't know if we can throw Mayhem J Ham on Fox, you know, because like they got ACDC. You know? Are you ready for that dry ass bullshit ass thing? You know, fuck, hey, man. I'm gonna be honest with you, that song sucks. Can we admit it now? Can can we finally admit that that song is fucking trash? Cause it is. It's it's not good. No, let's stop. Let's let's stop acting like just because it's ACDC that means good. It's not fucking good. It's shit. That shit is whack. Stop playing that shit. Let's get something else. Come on. We we, we drafting. Draft a new goddamn song. WWE. Damn. Up next, going back over to Raw, I believe. On Raw, <laughs> we got. Yosef Steel, woo, and he got the Cruiserweight Championship and the Inter Intercontinental Championship. Okay, that boy, that boy dripping. Win another title, big man, go over to Raw. I, I felt like you could be in a good position on Raw, you know, just, just vibing. I mean, you chill, you know, I mean, you do have the Cruiserweight title, but in the Intercontinental, you look like us, you, I feel like you wanna go to SmackDown. We might have the trade. We might trade you, bro. But who do we draft to SmackDown already? We might have to send Yosef still over to SmackDown. You know what? You know what? We I don't got it. I don't I don't got it. Who should we get on Monday Night Raw? I think did we get King King Glove? I don't know if we drafted King Glove yet. I don't think we did. But King Glove, welcome to Monday Night. That's a, you Raw Underground, ch like a champion. You the motherfucker, like you come through and like you set the pace. Like Baba Tunde try to come back and you're like, no, I'm here. And then you beat his ass. That's you. Um, let's see. Ooh, over on NXT. I think we could get Dylan Collins. He, you know, he was an ode to Brandon Collins. He, he, said shout out to Brandon Collins and he, you know he had the, the hat the backwards hat you feel me we can send him down to NXT you know just do some do some work with uh fucking I don't, the cruiserweights honestly you seem like a cruiserweight type of guy over on Smackdown the f <laughs> a fucking clown goddamn like bro we got e-money in the building you feel me Ella is a fucking clown bro one of the funniest people I follow on Twitter, but she is going over to SmackDown. You, you got your blueprint, you got your role model, and you got the money maker, E Money, AKA Ella. I don't know. I thought. <laughs> and coming back over to Raw, we have the Chris. I don't. I don't know how to pronounce her last name. So. We are gonna call, well, you you told me your wrestling name. I was gonna shout you out by at, but Foo Blue. Name like Foo Blue, it's kinda, you kinda wanna go to SmackDown, but it doesn't matter. You're going to Raw, brother. Name like Foo Blue, it's kinda, you kinda wanna go to SmackDown, but it doesn't matter. You're going to Raw, brother. You're going to Raw, fuck it. We can do trades. We we could do trades, but right now you do seem like a Raw type of guy, minus name being Foo Blue. Foo, Foo Blue. That's kind of, we might have to talk to Vince on the name. You might have to just drop a part of that name. You might have to be 
food. <laughs> Over an NXT. Do we have anybody left? I think we can get Laheem Wilderson. Name I just came up with. <laughs> I don't know if Laheem, Laheem is your real name, but hey, welcome to NXT. Um, you, you just came up with a name. You got the Dewey on with the glasses. Are you in the bathroom? Were you taking a shit during this picture, sir? Oh, brother, you might have to go to the performance center. And the last pick of my followers WWE draft over on SmackDown, Justin Blaze. That's a dope ass name. We gotta throw him on Fox. That's where the money's at. Let's be honest. Justin, Bla I mean, we don't know what you look like. You got the, you got the the, the mask on. At least you're wearing the mask. But we already know you throwing. You feel me? You. This is like a go-to handsome. And this might mean some real shit to like real gang niggas, but to me, I was like, you feel me? And then if you do this, I love you, you know what I'm saying? But I mean, I love all y'all. But you know? <laughs> Justin Blaze is over on SmackDown Live. Or is it SmackDown Live still? SmackDown on Fox, I'm stupid. I don't, <laughs> trust me. I try to watch wrestling. I mean, I try, I try, I try to watch WWE. I try. But that's all the time I have for what? That is all the time I have for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like and comment below what show you think you'd watch based on the followers I drafted to each show. Until then, you know, subscribe, turn your bell, you know, you know, you know the drill. Turn your notifications on. You don't want to miss videos, bro. I've been consistent. Y'all see, y'all, I've been getting comments like, what, X3 with the uploads? Like, yeah, yeah, we're here. We're here. We got uploads coming. So you don't want to miss them, turn your notifications on. Come over to the Twitch late at night if you want to stay up and watch me play shit with my friends. Normally, I am pretty fucking high during these streams, so you won't miss, you you won't, you won't be bored during this. I promise you, you if whatever we play, you gonna get some moments. Speaking of which, on my second channel, we do have a GTA Funny Moments video coming. So you bet be, hey, be on the lookout for that. Go over to the second channel. Links will be in the description below. Until then, take it sleazy, and I'm out.